Hi everyone! Hi everyone! Today we are taking a look at the Westphalia Amundsen, uh, which we have had the privilege of actually staying in overnight last night. So come join us for the tour. Right, so what is this van then? I don't know, Will, tell me about it. <laughs> So this van, in it. <laughs> this, this van is a Series 8 Fiat Ducato base. So that's the latest type of Fiat Ducato you can get. Uh, this is a 140 manual. Uh, so it's uh, kind of middle of the range, if you like. They do 120s, they go up to 180s. They do an auto box, they do a manual box. That's so, a massive variety, Yeah, isn't big it? variety. Uh, this is a 140 manual. Um, it's a 600, so it's, this is technically called a 600E. Uh, model, but yeah. what that means is it's basically a 5.99 meter long van. Don't know Six why. Meters. Don't know why they didn't call it a 599e, yeah. but 600 is easier. Yeah. Um, so it's a 600e, and, and the e bit on the 600, obviously the 600 is the length. The e bit is the type of bed layout it's got. Okay. And e, I don't know what it stands for, but e means it's got longitudinal beds. Inside, so you rather sleep than with your feet towards side to side. the driver and yes. the passenger rather than so across it, the van. It's like two singles joined together. Yeah. Um, but you'll see when we get inside and do an interior kind of tour of what that looks like. Yeah. And uh, So what's the other one then? If, it, if it's not an E. D. So is that a D? That's a D. Okay. So if you, if you see something called like a Columbus 601D or anything which is a D from Westphalia. Means you sleep across the van then across the van and just to confuse okay. matters even more if you look at something like the westphalia sven heden that's just it a, doesn't have a d or an e it is just a sven but it is a heden. transverse bed <laughs> 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 um or a james cook they don't do a yes. james cook e or d or whatever so yeah very i confusing. suppose though that's the flexibility of the Ducato platform isn't it yeah. because it's a wider van at the back yes there's the man's tge crafters right. they all sort of slim down they, towards they, the back they do they um, do so anyway, um, what we're going to do, we're going to do a bit of a walk around the outside, a bit of the features and that kind of stuff as we go around. We're going to do an internal, have a look through rummage through the drawers as we like to do. Yeah. Um, because we stayed in this overnight, we've left some of our stuff in here. So hopefully, instead of looking at a kind of bare van and you can't really tell, well, can you fit that in there or you know, that kind of stuff. We brought some of our normal packing cubes with us yeah. uh, for our clothes. So when we open some of the lockers, you'll be able to see the size of a packing cube in a locker. And you'll be able to think, oh, right, so in my current van, I can fit one of those there. Or yeah. I've got a California and I know that that packing cube, I can fit two of those there. But in here, you'll be able to see what the cupboard yeah. space is like. So hopefully okay. that's going to be helpful as well. So uh, let's, um, let's, let's do what we usually do. One of us will grab the camera. The other one will yeah. just blabber on about what we see <laughs> as we go around it. Let's go and have a tour. Right, let's have a bit of a tour around the outside then. So um, Decato, first of all, um, has it's a big van so it's got the double mirrors um, just around here so you've got the small mirror at the bottom which actually on these you can move um, but it does mean that you're able to see the curbs when you're reversing That's which nice. is quite handy um, side step on these and the way that that works on these particular ones is it's got a s switch Ooh. on the inside Nifty. Uh, which moves it in and out uh, which is quite handy because when you get to a site you can just put the step out and just forget about it then um, but it's one of our pet hates on the Grand. It seemed to, it, it, when, you, when you didn't put it in camping mode, the step would go away, you'd stand next to the door and it would try and be helpful by putting the step out and it clonked me around the shins a couple of times because it's just try, <laughs> trying to be helpful. Um, but this just switch by the door, nice and manual, dead easy. Um, one of the things and one of the differences between a, an Amundsen and the Columbus models because they're both on a Decato, both Westphalia vans, um, is the windows that you get. So on the Amundsen, uh, Amundsen uh, you get these kind of caravan style windows which are the ones where, actually probably easier if you look at the back one here, it's shut, um, they sit slightly proud of the, of the uh, bodywork. Uh, still double glazed, still Dometic windows, um, but they're, they're not the kind of flush fitting type. So a little bit more wind noise and obviously aesthetically when you look down the side of the van it's not kind of smooth clear lines it's just sitting proud slightly no, nothing wrong with that just uh, obviously a different choice because in the lineup of different uh, Westphalia vans you've uh, you've got the kind of um, Amundsen uh, is your um, 
really well specced but um, sits below the Columbus in terms of general overall fixtures and fittings and like, the things it has and the options you can have. And then the um, Sven Heden kind of sits alongside the Columbus just on a different platform. So that's on the MAN TGE platform rather than uh, the Ducato. So the Columbus is on the Ducato? Deca platform, yes, Columbus is on the Ducato, yep. yes. Uh, right, let's carry on then. Um, so we come round, this one does have an awning, which is probably a bit difficult to see. It's also got a, a light above the door as well. Uh, but uh, it's the kind of things you'd expect on a van like this, really. But if I swap places with Sarah, <laughs> um, we can have a look inside the garage. Now this garage in here, I think is really, really I'll call oh, it's it, enormous. I'll call it universal. Cavernous. Because it is just a massive space. And they've put a nice bit of padding over the wheel arch here so your stuff isn't going to get donking and clonking against the wheel arch. Water tanks obviously on that side over there. You've got a couple of tie down. A couple of tie down um, points, points and as things. Well, you? Um, you know, it's a really, generally, it's a really universal space. You're going to have to put some organisation into it if you this need to. This is the, uh, the, the awning. That's the awning Wind winder. Out. And you can see here a bit of a sneak peek of the type of bed it's got. So it's got yeah, those nice frolly nice springs. Nice frolly springs. And, and a really chunky, thick mattress. Yeah, easy to show the mattress. And the mattress, actually, overnight. It's that kind of. Yeah. So it's, a, yeah, so it's got a zip off covers then, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, so it's a good foam. It's quite but, a firm mattress, but comfy. I tell you, it was really not bad at all actually mm. last night, because usually it takes a few nights to adjust. Sarah's not good on a first night anywhere, even if it's our own van. It always feels a bit kind of out of sorts, but actually last night, I slept really unless you, well, unless you tell actually. me otherwise, it was all right. I did sleep well. I, I got we a little really hot tired. at one point. But, yes. Uh, right, yeah, let's... Uh, well. So just Close say that those. there's no mistaking it, you're definitely in a West Farm. <laughs> they do like to put their they logos do. on things, don't they? And, and you get your little Amazon logo, logo just down oh, here. Oh yes, there. very, very good. Uh, so coming around this side then, um, relatively featureless on this side, obviously apart from the the compass just, just there. Just drive it home again, it's yeah, a West Farm, but you can um, see also up there, look, there is a... Uh, the roof light. The roof light. Yeah. As well. Um, well, we can talk about those when we go inside yeah. the roof lights in particular, but uh, normal water filler on the outside there. Uh, this has got diesel heating uh, and diesel hot water. It's a Truma Combi 6 in this particular one. It actually comes with a Combi 4 as standard, uh, but when you buy the winter package on this, it comes with a, a 6, so an uprated one, uh, which also comes with um, the uh, iNet. Uh, system, which is the one which is Bluetooth with your phone, so you can control the heating nice. from your phone, which you don't get on the Columbus. Yeah. Uh, so, because uh, it's a different kind of heating system. Uh, hook up, obviously, in the side, uh, really straightforward. Uh, and then here, when it's you in the cupboard. press these, you should hold on to it so it doesn't <laughs> damage it. Um, but in here, you've got this bit of space yeah. here. Get a barbecue in there. Which barbecue chocks, hook yeah. up cable, water Whatever. hose. And you can access this from inside as well. Can you? Because if you open up the bottom of the bench seat, because if you mm. look, that's that's where the seat is. Yeah. You flip it forward, and then you can get to that compartment from inside if you mm. need to. Nifty. Very nifty. Uh, and obviously that's where your toilet cassette is as well. So you just lift that up, pull it out, and off you go, and you can empty it. Nice. Uh, obviously this compartment you can lock as well. Yeah. So. Stop someone sealing your toilet. <laughs> Not that I think they would. It would cause a mess though if it you didn't know, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> That'd be a bit grim. Oh, oh dear, I hadn't thought about that. Uh, definitely lock that lock flap. Lock that, lock that flap. Yeah. Um, apart from that, it's relatively standard Ducato outside, nothing really much more to say. Uh, so I think it's probably going to be me behind the camera and Sarah showing you around what's going on inside. Welcome to the inside of the Amundsen, which I think I've said correctly. Apologies if not. Um, so it's a fairly standard uh, bigger van Westphalia layout. So you have your kitchen block as you come in through the door here. <clears throat> so excuse me. And you get your fridge on the end. Uh, this type of fridge is actually a open the door kind of fridge. So you can see we're well stocked with the essentials there. Some uh, varieties of beer, <laughs> wine, and a bit of milk for your breakfast cereal. Yeah, mm. really uh, living it up there. Can you guess what breakfast cereal? <laughs> Put we'll, it in the comments we'll below. We bought a very bad, <laughs> very bad UPF breakfast cereal. Um, cutlery tray. It's a 
amazingly huge cutlery drawer there. Enormous amount of space. And what's in this one actually? Just a drawer. Oh, it's just another drawer. Just a drawer. Blimey. Huge drawer. Lots of lots of space there, isn't there? There we go. Soft clothes, aren't they? Soft clothes, yep. And then in the top of this, uh, you've got your again pretty standard layout. So it's a Dometic hob, two burner back here, um, with the automatic ignition on it. Like that. Oh, better not trap the key in it. There we go. Get oil's water bottle out of the way. Uh, a sink with a nice sink cover on it. It's, it's a, a good big sink. sink. It's deep, isn't it's it? It's de like deceptive, I think. Yeah. How good that is. Very, very good. Did the washing up this morning, and it's just yeah. really, really good. And obviously, you got hot water because you've got a water boiler, so it's a uh, mixer tap there for you to actually be able to wash it with some nice warm water. A bit of worktop next to it's really handy it is, as well, yeah, I think. and they've put this little bit in here to stop you end up spilling anything onto your bedding, which is quite nice. Um, I do remember that being a very, very slight issue, I think, in the Grand, because they've designed that to have an extra kind of um, pull-out bit of yeah. worktop here. So if you had your duvet there or your pillows, you had to, get it all out you had way, to move all of that to... out of the way to be able to use it. Um, but equally, then you could drop something all over the bed quite easily. So I quite like that <laughs> um, as a concept. I tried to dress it up a little bit with some fake plants uh, and a couple of shelves up here, which are quite nice, actually, and quite deep. Um, so yeah, that's a, just a just a porridge porridge and... pot, just to give you an idea of the depth of that. And it sits I'm not right sure whether you drive along there. with stuff in those. I mean, you could do, I suppose. I that's think why you could, because, you know, we've sort of... I've uh, also seen people hang, you know, there. those Ikea little tub things that you yeah. get with the plastic hangers? I've seen people hang those off yeah. there. Because if you're using, like, a sponge for your sink or... I mean, up here, because practical. they've mounted this metal bar a little bit higher than it is on this lower one here, you can actually get some fairly decent, things decent in stuff there. in there. And I, I wouldn't be worried about driving along with most of those bits and bobs in plants there either. swinging around in the, the rear plants, mirror. Just, you know, when or, Will accelerates and it's like... <laughs> like <this. laughs> Drives it like a racing car, I'd imagine. Um, so that's your kind of top of your kitchen block there. Down here, uh, you've got some really good drawers. They're and they huge. they, put, they I mean, keep they're, going. They're, they're, I mean, look, just... they just keep going and going and <laughs> going so and going. Big. Again, you can see the uh, the emergency things here. So you know, Will's managed to cut himself already, uh, and some uh, mugs and glasses and bits and pieces. That fits in there. This drawer down here is exactly the same again. So it's enormous. Yeah, and another one. I mean, you can see there the depth of it. We've managed to fit in our little electric kettle there and leave the lid open on it, and it still shuts. Oh, it did until I moved it around. Oh, what are ah, you doing? No. There we go. And then this one down here is even bigger. So you can see there, we've managed to fit the Bellman coffee machine into that one on top of all the other manner of bits and bobs that just come with it's, this van anyway. It's huge, You've got isn't it? bits of shower hose and all sorts in there. So a huge amount of storage. You see the soft clothes, and then you just give it the little push at the end. This one, just a really nice tall unit. I'm sure you could get some shelves for in there if you wanted to. Uh, but you can see the size of that. That's one of those sort of, um, big shopping bags that we've managed to just shove in there. And there's the guilty pleasure um, breakfast cereal that Will was very naughty buying this morning. <laughs> um, right, what shall we do next? Shall we kind of come back a bit and just do the seating area before I move on to the bed? So Will's navigating backwards <laughs> out of the van down the step. I'll stop me, talking whilst he's just doing give that. Give me a really easy job here, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you've got down here, there's a little cubby in the floor with some bits and bobs in there that you can use. So some... you could put, put some shoes or dog food or anything in there. It's uh, got a reasonable depth to it, probably about five, six inches, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's quite a nice little area here that you could get the dog bed on. Um, Roxy slept down in this area overnight last night that her mattress fitted in and there's obviously the the uh, between the cab seats as well that you can fit those bits in so in there yeah it's good good space down in the front there as yeah, well yeah not there? bad at all then down in here so underneath the bench seat that's your boiler and bits and bobs there so you're not probably going to uh want it has to got the same drain system one. though hasn't it as uh, the grand yes so the uh, frost protection yeah, so you're gonna have to watch that valve at the back filling it up and then yes. not leaving the heating on and it will dump just dump all of the water all yeah. over the floor if you remember when will was opening the uh little door outside that you could get to the toilet and he said that you can get to that from the inside of the van that's actually here underneath this bench seat so all you do is a little tab here pull that up and you've got again another little bit of storage here but you can also get to anything that's in that outdoor cabinet 
down in this bit here. Yeah, it's good that. It is nice, yeah. And like you say, this obviously the boiler's underneath here, so actually Anything just having there's a bit of flat. Get a little bit warm, but yeah, uh, but you, well, that's a quite good. a good thing. You put some wet dog tails on there. True. Yes. <laughs> yes, you could do that. Could do that definitely. Uh, and then obviously you've got this other next bits of storage up here, so a nice little open bit. Uh, you can see there that we've managed to, that's my hairdryer in a box and we've got a fan and bits and pieces in there. Um, cupboard that you can actually open up here. Yeah. But again, that's quite deep. Will's put his MacBook in there. So that's a normal size MacBook and it's right at the front here if you can just see it. And I can actually still get an entire pretty much hand width right at the back of it just to give you an idea of the depth and a phone uh, sorry his camera case and all sorts of bits and pieces like that and actually the nice thing about the Decato platform is that you do actually get a little bit of storage above the cab too so this is where the table <laughs> not, goes not that you'd be getting it down <laughs> hey come on i can reach that okay i don't know whether i'll be able to undo the catches that yeah, it's that, on, to be honest that's, yeah yeah <laughs> um, so yeah that's where the table for this area stores that hooks onto the uh, the little rail down there um, but yeah, you can just chuck a few bits and bobs up there and that's quite nice and easy to use. So, so the table goes onto that rail there, This one it? here, yeah. only actually on this little bit here. So yeah. it kind of clips in here and it's, it's shaped to come around the corner there yeah. and then comes out and then you end up with a swing out bit as well. So if you're sitting in the driver's seat yeah, it's when it's turned piece. around, it's got that extra piece so that you can actually um, enjoy, enjoy your food in comfort. Okay, shall we move on to the bathroom then? Okay, so we're going to have to do a little bit of swapping around here because once I open this door, I'm going to be stuck back there. <laughs> uh, so you're going to have Will for the tour of the toilet. <laughs> oh, lucky me. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> Enjoy. At least they get somebody to open the door for me. Right, uh, so this is the bathroom, if you like. Uh, so we've got uh, obviously a mirror on the left-hand side, lots of storage cubbies on the back wall. Uh, useful in terms of being able to put like bottles in there, those kind of things. Uh, toothpaste and stuff, uh, sink, uh, and um, it's actually a really good usable size sink. This uh, nice, obviously, uh, being uh, in metal rather than uh, in plastic. Uh, you can push the tap unit out the way so you've got more space here. Normal domestic size plug there, uh, hot and cold, obviously. And then, if you're going to have a shower, you can just pull this straight out. You can probably see the hose dangling underneath, and it comes straight out, and then you're able to have a shower in here too. There is a curtain which you use in here uh, to protect some of the uh, the wood. Um, so you've got a Thetford uh, swiveling toilet, so that turns round, you've obviously got electric flush there. Uh, you can see that there's a that's a vent uh, for the heating. And then you've got a couple of domestic size uh, drains in the bottom as well. Good if you lose the plug, because at least you can get another one nice and easy. Uh, see a toilet roll holder. One of the best features in here though is this. So this clips up like that. I really like that. Yeah, you, can, yeah. you, don't, you can't see what I'm talking I about. I can, just through a little gap here. <laughs> um, that's a really <laughs> handy feature. Um, just for drying out towels or you know dishcloths, anything like that. And it just clips in place like that. Very, very handy, I do like that. And that doesn't come on every single Westphalia. Um, so the, the Sven, for example, doesn't have anything like that in the bathroom. So a uh, bit jealous of that. Uh, and then obviously you've got a pop-up skylight there to give it some venting if you need to. Probably worth a mention, I know we've just done the bathroom, but if you look at this, it's actually completely low profile. So you've got no handle or anything. You're going to catch your clothes or your arms or anything on there. That's uh, pretty cool. It's quite that. a nice design. And That's cool. just dead easy to open and close like that. What I also like, and I haven't seen this on a van before, but uh, cor again, correct me if I'm wrong. There's a little Westphalia umbrella here and it's meant to be stored exactly here, look. So it buttons in and it, it's got a little thing for the pointer that is down cool. there. Uh, just near the air vent for the, uh, for the boiler that is or for cool. the radiator. I like For that. the heating. Get my words like out that. properly. Okay, so um, just right on the end of this kitchen block, this is where you've actually got your light switch for the shower. I don't know whether Will wants to pass it. No, he's not going to pass it over. So we've got, got a light switch anyway. You've got a 12 volt socket and you've got your normal three pin plug socket there on the end. Down here, just next to this big tool cupboard, there's the little bit of a locker down there. I don't know if you can see it properly. Yeah, where, and that's where your small gas bottle goes. So that's the camping gas 
907. <laughs> you can tell who, it's just who has to order the replacement it's for those. It's just numbers, right. <laughs> um, and actually down here, this might be easier if Will does it, um, but you can see here there's a proper built-in step. Is this going to work? Mm -hmm. okay, yeah, okay. So, and the best thing about this is obviously an enormous step to help you get into the bed. You're not going to fall off this. And look at that. It's another storage compartment and, oh, there's our guilty pleasures from last night. So <laughs> empty beer cans. <laughs> um, so you can see it's hinged and there's actually it's another compartment one. just down to the right of it uh, next to that bin. So again, more shoes, coats, dog food, whatever you want to put in there really. Uh, nice and easy to get at. Kind of gives you a clue to the top of what's going on with the bed though, doesn't it? With that mm. cutout. Yeah. Because it's kind of like two singles, isn't it? Do you want yeah. to talk about that? Yeah, kind of I'll layout. just point this out though. There is obviously no way of getting into the garage at the back mm. from this. So mm. some people may see that as a good thing. Some people may see that as a bad thing, but... Depends how good the dog's been. <laughs> you could put her in the back and then just not see her oh, again. That's just mean. <laughs> oh, he's evil, isn't he? Don't report us to the RSPCA. I would not yeah. let that happen. Um, yeah, so that's, that's basically how this particular one works. So the bed, you can see here that we've made this and we've made it with our... This is a double duvet. So you can see just quite how enormous this is, because obviously the double duvet doesn't even quite stretch to the no. edges. So it's an enormous bed, it's the side entire to side. Width, entire width of the bed. Yeah, it's probably equivalent, I would say, even bigger than the king size. I mean, we yeah, can we probably. can find the proper measurements for it, but um, just sleeping on it last night, it did feel pretty enormous. So you have this cutaway, so that you can use the step here. To get up into the bed and you can see then that it's got two mattresses to it now the way that we found this easiest to actually um put a cover on the mattresses yeah. is two, two, separate two separate ones so <laughs> we came a little unprepared so we ended up going and buying another one uh, hence the two different colors well, so we, we got a gray we, and a we white we came with one double fitted sheet didn't yeah we? and it's, it, it's no way no way near big no enough way. so um this is actually a king fitted sheet which is why it doesn't look particularly good and this is a double which it's is why better. it looks a little bit better um, but I'd suggest you could probably get away with two single fitted sheets possibly and then you could go go with either two single duvets and that's that what work. most people do I think I did um, do a bit of reading most people a, have two single or duvets, a king yeah. or even super king duvet depending on how warm you want to be yeah um, it's a huge space but it's, it's absolutely enormous up here I think that's one of the things with this this particular layout in a six meter van You've got to choose whether you whether your priority is the length and size of bed. Yeah. Because you know that is a huge amount of van to use for a bed. Yeah. Which you use for quite a lot of hours of the day. Yes. But actually, when you're up, you don't tend to use the bed uh, area. I mean, it, it's lovely and it's really comfortable. Um, you do tend to compromise on the size of the front, though, don't yeah. you? So. And I did find it a little disconcerting. I must admit, overnight, that when you turn over and your feet disappear over this sort of hole because <laughs> your feet might have been here mm. um, and then the, all of a sudden there's nowhere for out. your feet um, well plus the dog could end up standing on this bit coming up and then licking a toe or <laughs> chewing on a <laughs> chewing on a foot chewing on your foot i think yeah. is probably more likely but uh, she hasn't figured that one out yet thankfully um okay so storage wise nice hanging rail there which is quite a good idea uh, for anything a little bit longer that you might be taking with you and then again you've got these huge storage boxes so this is what we were talking about earlier our normal yeah, so that's amazon our normal basics packing cubes, packing cubes and that fits in there long ways long ways and you can get another in there easy on top you of get it. another one on top you can get some so more there probably to four, the side four packing cubes easily yeah in that one in locker. that one and then this one i think is exactly the same yeah. we haven't got anything in there though um, yeah. but it's enormous yeah. down here uh, these lights you touch on and off and there's another one back here must admit you need to be a little bit careful when you switch on that one at the back and um, if you happen to be looking up you can very much blind yourself <laughs> so you've got three down this side So another three cupboards down here this one's more realistically kind of pointed towards using as a kitchen yeah um, but in there we've got towels and makeup bits and pieces there's a lot sorts. of storage in here it's, it's an enormous amount of storage some more bits and bobs in there so a wash bag another couple of my packing cubes our coats yeah. and then you've got obviously the window that we saw when we were outside here so it's got a, a blind and a built-in fly screen fly screen as well so you can have that one open overnight and the same with this enormous um 
skylight yeah. up there. What size is it, Will? Is it 500, 500 by, by 700? 700. It's enormous. It's lovely. Um, and again, that's got a, a built-in blind. And, and these are the wind-up well, type, so which wind are a it up, bit nicer it? than the ones which have only got three like positions yeah. with a big handle. So at least with these, you can wind them up to just what you want. Yeah. And again, more lights over on this side that you touch on and off. And uh, some cubbies that you can just see at the back there. I'm not going to <laughs> scramble across the bed. Nobody needs to see that. Uh, so some cubbies down the back there and some cubbies down there. And again, you've got another 12 volt um, socket just down there. So Very I good. think that's probably it that's for it. the van tour, isn't it? For the inside, nice van. So just before we step back outside and have a bit of a sum up of what we think of this uh, Amundsen, uh, we've got in here the two control panels. So slightly different to maybe some of the other Westphalias that you've seen in the past, quite a simple control panel on this one. Uh, so you've got your main power on and off, that turns your water pump on and off. That there just gives you these lights underneath, so quite a simple on off switch. Uh, and then these ones here, if I press that, these light up, you can probably see that. So that's the amount of normal fresh water that we've got. And then the wastewater isn't like a level gauge. It's just a, is it full or not level uh, on this one. And then you've got battery level. So that's your habitation battery. So your camping battery, how much charge has that got? Press that one, that's the vehicle battery, how much charge has that got? And that just tells you that it's plugged in. So really simple, easy to understand panel. And if you, if you want to switch everything off, you just press that and everything's everything's Ooh. powered down so it's nice and straightforward truma inet panel um this is for your combi boiler um so at the moment what this is saying on here is that you've got um the uh heating on uh, quite quite why i don't know because it's, it's hot anyway <laughs> um so it's set to 20 degrees you've got your water which is on and then hot water that's yeah that's hot it? water yeah. yeah and then obviously your blower which just yeah. lets you know uh that the blower's there so um yeah it's it's a really i think it's a really great van I, it's just that choice between that you have to make between size of bed at the back how important that is to you yeah. bearing in mind the side to side nature of the bed obviously means that one of you can get out of bed in the night without disturbing the other one rather than on the transverse you might end up climbing over the other person yeah I think having the bed the way around that it is in this van squished things down a little further into the living area, think, hasn't it? Yeah, and actually this, when we were looking at the plans of the different vans uh, from Westphalia, the 540, so they make this van in a 540, so 5.4 metres long, but the bed is across the van at the back rather than long ways, and the front is exactly the same. So same size bathroom, same size bench seat, everything exactly the same. So you. The, the extra length in the 600 van between the 5.4 metres is just the bed. Yeah. So actually, you, you're buying a 5.4 metre long van in the living area mm. if you buy this, but obviously with a bigger bed. Yeah. So. Choices, choices. So there's choices, choices. <laughs> so there you are then. That's our quick tour. I'd say quick. <laughs> Sorry. Medium speed tour <laughs> around uh, the, uh, Full tour. <coughs> the van. And hopefully you found that really helpful just to get a bit of a sense and a feel of what they're like. Um, you know, six metre long Decatos come in all different shapes and sizes inside, yeah. don't they? With all different dimensions, different things. Westphalia is one of those brands that people look at and think, actually, I really want to look at one of those because of what the brand is. Yeah. You know, it's a real heritage brand. It feels good quality inside. There's no question about that. Uh, so even if you were looking at a Columbus and thinking, I'm not paying that, <laughs> but I still want a Westphalia, Definitely check it out. The quality, one. quality is really, really good. Yeah, it's really strong. Yeah. Um, this one, just to give you a sense of price. This one. So twenty-two plates. Twenty-two plates. Done six thousand miles, I think. Yeah. So we're in May twenty twenty-three now. Yeah. So it's one year old. And this is sixty-nine thousand. Sixty-nine nine nine five. I think. So five I think, pounds shy of seventy so. grand. Yeah. Um, so um, so yeah, that gives you a bit of a sense. Uh, Columbus, obviously, quite a bit more than that. Sven, yeah. quite a bit more, more than, than that. that. Um, so actually, in terms of value, it's not that bad, yeah. uh, especially if you think about some of the cost of some of the Adrias, you know, and some of the other really popular well, Fiat Ducato based vans. It puts it on a par with things like um, the Nugget, yeah. essentially in price. So yeah. if you're kind of, mm, I want a bigger van, but that's my budget. But remember, you could still have a new Westphalia Kelsey, mm. which has got a shower, a toilet, 
you know, can sleep four if you want to. This this can't yeah. because you can't That's convert true. the front. Yeah. This is only a two berth. Yes. Um, you know, you drive and, with four. Yeah. You can only sleep two. And the the maximum cost that a Kelsey is going to be is sixty six thousand. Yeah. That's brand new. Yeah. And okay, different size of van because it's a five point three four meter long. Yeah. Uh, Ford Transit Custom with a pop top. Yeah. Okay, I definitely know that's different to having a big Ducato. But if you look on the spec sheet of does it have hot water? Does it have a shower? Does yeah. it have a toilet? You know. Yes. Yes. So <laughs> we'll leave you with that conundrum. Yeah. Would you would you buy a bigger van? A bigger van <laughs> um, and compromise on the interior space a little bit to have a massive bed. Um, or, or would you van. spend the money on a smaller van? Yeah. Let us know in the comments below what you think. Choices, choices. Yeah, we've loved <laughs> staying over in this. Thank yeah. you uh, to, Wonder, to Home Wonder Home for letting us come over and try this out. We've really enjoyed it. Uh, it's a cracking van. Uh, yeah, so we'll leave it there. We'll and Roxy's it. had a good night camping. Yes. Sure, she's shattered. She she's asleep in the car at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. We're always doing new videos whenever we can on anything interesting which comes our way. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see you again soon for some more Camper Van, Camper Van Time. Van Time.